What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to 25 billion dollars of unspent EIDL grant money as RRF is very possible. It is Thursday, September the 23rd, 2021. Please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up, hashtag EIDL with your comments below. And don't forget, make sure you follow me over on Twitter at Try Small Biz, username Small Biz Inc., where I am, in fact, fighting on behalf to get you and your family the money that you deserve. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am taking a stroll just outside my community. It is a gorgeous, sunny, 75 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. If you're in the Atlanta area, give me a shout out in the comments. This is arguably one of the most beautiful days of the entire year. I have a very, very good positive video for you guys. I am more optimistic than ever, in fact, that restaurants are about to get paid. And of all things, there is an extremely strong possibility that the EIDL fund will not be rated to the tune of $31 billion. And in fact, they might give up to 3 million people a chance at up to $10,000, regardless of size, location, or credit score. So, wow. Why are you so optimistic, Jason? Well, folks, Big Ben fucking Carden has been chatting up a storm on Twitter the last few days. I've engaged him numerous times. And there's a golden rule with respect to these senators. Jackie Rosen's a perfect example. She's not confident about S513. She hasn't said a fucking word about S513 since she reintroduced the bill six months ago. But when they start yapping, and Schumer does this all the time, about something they're supporting, whether it's a bill, an amendment, or whatever, it kind of means that it's in the bag. So if you go to Twitter when you get a chance, and you take a look at the exchanges I've been having with Big Ben fucking Carden. I'm sure he gets a kick out of that. In fact, I know he knows that I call him that. Never had the pleasure of speaking with Ben, but I know uh, all the chiefs of staff. I've been hammering him now for months, getting a hold of that information, that contact information. Earlier this year was an absolute gold mine. So here's the deal. If you or someone you know has a restaurant, I can almost guarantee upwards of $50 billion of RRF is going to be injected into the three and a half trillion dollar budget reconciliation bill. And at the rate they're going, they're gonna vote on the $1.2 trillion infrastructure by September 27, which is next week. And we may in fact, assuming Joe Manchin, Kristen Sinema, uh, and others cooperate, we may in fact get a vote on the three and a half trillion dollar budget reconciliation shortly thereafter. And if all the ducks fall in a row, President Biden could actually sign the bill and get it out. Maybe even before Halloween, the likelihood is somewhere between there and Thanksgiving. However, lots of chatter in the House. The Problem Solvers Caucus, Blaine Lutenmeyer, he asked for $60 billion for the Entree Act. That was a few months ago. It got shot down in one of the recent committees. So don't be surprised if we get leadership in the Senate with Ben Cardin and others bringing the number down just a little bit. Don't forget we have 177,000 folks that own a restaurant that got declined or denied when they ran out of money several months ago. So I have been fighting tooth and nail along with others. Thank you to Speak and See, Builder of course, Steven Carlson, writer who pointed this out the other day that there's enough money for three million idle grants because the average size of the grant is eight grant. So eight grand times three million is 24 billion. We still have a little over 26 billion left over. So restaurants, hang in there. No question in my mind that money's on the way. PPP is more of a long shot. However, the discussion that's currently going on, and you can see some of this thrown around on Twitter if you're as obsessed with the platform as I am, 
it's for the smallest of small. So in my opinion, based on what we're seeing, if, and it's a big if, they do another 25 to $50 billion for PPP, it's gonna be for most likely 10 employees or less. The maximum number we hear is 50. So if you're among the 10% that has more than 50 employees, I don't think you're gonna get another round of PPP, not at least this year. So that one I'm less confident about versus the restaurants. Now let's talk about, and let's try to keep this video under 10 minutes at five and a half now. Boy, it's beautiful. Isn't it, folks, can you see this? I mean, this is, I live up there. This is a street, it gets real busy around rush hour, but it's absolutely gorgeous today. Not, not a single cloud, slight breeze, just beautiful. All right. There is 26 and a half or thereabouts billion dollars in the targeted idle advance. Little, little less than $3 billion or thereabouts for the supplemental. And don't forget, if you qualify as a low income member currently, there's an 80% chance you'll get the supplemental for a total of 15. But Ben Cardin, if you remember, and he's gonna turn out to be the hero in my opinion, he threw a fit about three weeks ago on the Senate floor when he said it was wrong that John fucking Cornyn, a real turncoat, sponsor of S513, totally abandoned small biz. He's the one responsible for gutting through an amendment process the $31 billion. And he's not shy about saying it either. So I have no respect for him anymore, none whatsoever. But Ben, who I think is a great guy, doesn't always come through, but he's a nice guy, you can tell. He threw a fit on the floor of the Senate a few weeks ago and he said we need to figure out a way to put the money back well last week the democrats came up with a 2.2 trillion dollar tax bill now if you're to believe the rhetoric anyone making less than 400,000 which is probably most of you you will not see any increase in your taxes however there are some nonpartisan groups that say yeah okay that's with respect to income taxes there are some possible increases for small business in other taxes and getting rid of child credits, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't quite believe that if you make less than 400 grand, you're not gonna to be touched at all. It may not be with respect to income tax, but there'll be other ways they get you. They are clearly though, going after the top one to 10%. Who, by the way, the top 1%, in case you haven't never heard this, they pay 38% of all the taxes in the United States. So yes, some of them are hiding money in the Cayman Islands and over in Switzerland, but there are a lot of them that pay a shitload of taxes. The top 2%, in fact, of income earners pay almost half the taxes in the United States. But anyway, there's a possibility, based on what he is saying and others in terms of the chief of staff, they're throwing around an idea that, okay, now that we've got two trillion dollars over 10 years of new taxes on the rich we don't have to gut the idle program and given that the deadline is december the 31st of this year why don't we open it up to middle and high income communities that is for a fact being discussed it's not been announced publicly but that for a fact has been discussed because they're never going to get through the money with respect to low income only so what are the odds? 50-50. I honestly believe that. That Ben Cardin is successful because of the tax increases of preventing the idle program from getting raided and because there's over $25 billion still sitting there, that would give upwards of 3 million people, mostly in middle income communities of course, a chance to get the balance of the 10 grand and maybe even a shot at an additional five. So I am pushing Relentlessly, I have others that don't even use social media that are doing the same. And our argument is simple, ladies and gentlemen. We want 10 grand regardless of size, location, or credit score. We got the $2 million caps. Those will open up October the 9th for those that are looking for up to 2 million bucks. We've got the 24 months of capital and people are getting funded like crazy. We're gonna get the idle loan or at least gonna work like hell to get it forgiven. Uh, at this time next year before the payments start becoming due. And yes, I really believe 
not only are restaurants gonna get more money in the RRF, but there's at least a 50% chance. And shout out to all those, those who have stuck with this channel for the last 17 months, that because the money's there, and because there's over two trillion in new taxes coming, particularly against the rich, they may in fact give us a shot, probably gonna have to have suffered that economic loss, but most of you, and several have already filled out the application, including myself months ago, you're gonna have a shot at $10,000, regardless of size, location, or credit score. So in barely over 10 minutes, from an absolutely gorgeous suburban Atlanta, Georgia, always remember, I love each and every single one of you guys and gals, and thank you so much for watching.